welcome to this week's Movie Math, giving you an in-depth analysis of the box office for the weekend of November 16th, where there were plenty of reasons for the studios to be thankful even before the holiday. As predicted, Twilight's final chapter opened at around $140 million, and even though it was unable to best New Moon's debut, it was still the fourth biggest opening of the year, behind The Avengers, The Dark Knight Rises, and The Hunger Games. But Breaking Dawn Part 2 was able to break one record for the franchise, and that was overseas, where it opened to the tune of $200 million. Everything seems on track for the flick to match the 700 million-ish totals of the last three films in the franchise, leaving only Twilight's future in question. Summit has made it clear that they want to continue milking their cash cow, either with more films, both a reboot and a spin-off have been discussed, or a television series, or both. We've also seen a flurry of trailers hit as studios fight to claim the mantle of having the next Twilight. While The Hunger Games is the clear frontrunner, they aired a teaser for Catching Fire in front of Twilight that featured just the logo and fans still got excited. There is also some its own contender Warm Bodies, Open Road's The Host based on another Stephanie Meyer book, and Sony's Mortal Instruments. However, studios have tried to copy Twilight's success before and failed, such as with I Am Number 4, so be sure to share down below if you think any of these movies has a shot. Then Twy haters can breathe a sigh of relief that the teen baby mama drama didn't take too big of a bite out of Skyfall, which fell around 50% in its second weekend. That's more than Casino Royale, but less than Quantum of Solace dropped in their second weeks, yet Skyfall is already about to pass both movies in terms of total domestic gross. Plus, while Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2 looks to finish at around 700 million worldwide, Skyfall is about to pass that number as well. That means it's gaining fast on the number seven worldwide film of the year, The Hunger Games, and is likely to finish in the company of The Dark Knight Rises and The Avengers, and maybe even join them in the Billion Dollar Club? Also this weekend, Lincoln went semi-wide and took third place. While the studio is very happy with the results, and this is Spielberg's most successful film since Indiana Jones 4, Lincoln's per theater average indicates that not everyone is able to trust the director after that horrible first trailer and the sugary warhorse. See, Lincoln is matching Skyfall's per theater average at playing in almost half the number of theaters. It will take strong word of mouth and likely some Golden Globe and Oscar wins to cross the 100 million mark. Perhaps Disney shouldn't have gone wide so soon, but instead a slow rollout as the film's buzz grows, a la The King's Speech and Black Swan. Elsewhere in the box office, Wreck-It Ralph is still performing slightly ahead of Tangled, while Flight, Argo, and Taken 2 all continue to demonstrate solid holds. Pitch Perfect also continues to stay in the top 10, even in its eighth week of release. But our real surprise is the Bollywood flick Job Talk Hai Jan, which opened on just 161 screens, yet appears to have cracked the top 10, the first Indian film since 2010's Kite to do so. And since it is indeed Oscar season, let's take a closer look at the specialty market. Both Silver Linings Playbook and Anna Karenina opened in 16 theaters, and both demonstrated solid per theater averages. That was expected for the much buzzed about silver linings from the Weinstein Company, but Karenina is a bit of a welcome surprise for Focus Features. Looks like the Joe Wright, Keira Knightley combo still got it, as both of their previous collaborations have resulted in major nominations. As for this coming week, it'll be a crowded Wednesday as several films compete for your Thanksgiving dollars. Rise of the Guardians, Life of Pi, and the Red Dawn remake all open, while Silver Linings Playbook, which was supposed to go wide, is instead going with that slow rollout option I'd recommended for Lincoln. Plus, on Friday, Hitchcock will open in 16 theaters, while Rust and Bone also gets a limited release. And that's the weekend box office. I'm Grace Randolph, and we just did some movie math. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.